Headlines, which is police probe Omolo stay in hospital. And I'll throw this over to Zinzi Kibiku, who has got some uh, guests in studio. And basically, this is to do, it's a follow-up of yesterday's headline, where the headline was talking about uh, the PS Omolo basically enjoying, uh, as it were, um, a comfortable stay in hospital as opposed to being in uh, remand like the rest. So, police pro Bomolo stay in hospital and detectives investigating health ministry and prison department want the independent, an independent doctor's report on her. Zinzi. Exactly, Michael. It's the fish fingers she's been enjoying. Haron Duby, lawyer, is now joining us for here on the set. Um, allow me to loop you into the conversation, especially with this one of Omolo. Um, her saying that she's sick. Um, the KNH has now said, well, at first they, she said that they're, she's, now, they're, she's good to go, but now we're seeing a different report coming in. Um, what, are you, what do you make of this? Well, <clears throat> thank you for having me now. Um, we have seen a tradition in this country where uh, big people, rich people really, not just big, not big, but rich people, uh, whenever they are supposed to be detained, they fall sick and get to hospital. Mm -hmm. But I would not begrudge that directly because I don't know whether they are actually sick or not. Uh, to have the immediate suspicion that because she is a PS, and an important government person, and therefore she can't fall sick. I think it's not uh, it's something to, to, it's not an assumption I would like to make. Mm -hmm. I would like to say that perhaps it is the hospital and its doctors who are professionals and who are bound by professional ethics who would say this person is supposed to be, to be admitted in hospital or ought to be released and go to stay at home or wherever else. So that um, for me, the investigation around her uh, and her stay in hospital may not be motivated by good faith or public interest, but by the uh, staccato politics that I see in this country, where the NYS scandal or the perception mm -hmm. of the fight against corruption now, and I think it is just a fuss, uh, is being uh, made into some kind of... Uh, circus? It's a circus, it's a Nigerian movie, a Afro cinema thing. Right. It is, it is nothing, there is no fight against corruption. Mm -hmm. So this thing is dramatizing it so that uh, some part of government looks like it is serious about corruption when actually it is, it's, it's not. Um, so I see this as just drama. Uh, it is nothing more. Uh, it is really, it could be part of a, a, a skit or, or a, 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 something that has been drafted and crafted mm -hmm. and so that... Um, the real attention for Our attention on corruption is diverted and right. we start imagining that there is something going on, that the government is uh, serious about corruption, it's even fighting its own PSS. When we know that it is actually a farce, it is intended to cleanse those higher up who are responsible, the princes of corruption, who are responsible for this co corruption that is going on in the country, uh, are the ones that are being cleansed. Honorable Mwale, do you agree that this is just a show off, this is just a circus, this is just an Afro cinema? Yeah, I partly agree with him that it's, it's, it's Afro cinema. And yesterday we addressed the media at the parliament building, me and uh, Honorable Silva Sosoro and we are asking the president to go for the big fish. Because when you look at NYS, why should you detain junior people, suppliers who got the tenders and uh, as a PS, and you are leaving a CS who was in office, mm. who is Cecil Kaluki. The big I fish is actually no. the president himself, if, if you may. I think the, uh, NYS, <clears throat> NYS is a scheme whose purpose has intended by the president and his people to be a vehicle for siphoning public resources. If you recall, NYS was established in 1965 to assist young and educated people who had uh, soon after independence. Mm. Afterwards, as the country developed, it kind of died down. Then uh, retired Moy uh, revived it and started to take uh, you know, university entrance through it. And then it died down. And suddenly, Uhuru 
in 2013 when he was elected, it reignited the NYS and gave it a budget, if I recall well, of about 20 billion when some ministries were receiving 7 billion in, uh, annually. And a department of, of a ministry was receiving 20 billion, doing the very things that were being done by other departments of government. All the functions of the National Youth Service today, other than the facade of the, the youth. No, 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 not helping the youth. They just do military drills. Anything else they do, whether it's agriculture, whether it is uh, uh, pretended security, whether it is uh, rescue, operations. Uh, rescue missions, all those have line ministries that are being, uh, that, uh, that are conduct those. So that effectively what I'm saying is that it is duplicity. So that the money that is allocated to NYS is supposed to be stolen. That is the purpose of national today. All right, so we are going to take